Okay guys, welcome to a brand new video back on the JKC Gaming channel. Today we're going to be doing a tier list today. Yeah, that's right, a tier list. Crazy, right? We're going to be ranking every single Fortnite season so far in this little tier list here. You can see, or hopefully you can see, that I've got an S tier right here. S plus tier, then S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, and didn't play. Then closely followed by F tier. So F tier will be the worst seasons Fortnite has ever had, followed by S plus tier being the best season Fortnite has ever had. This should be really fun, so make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, as well as use code JKC in the Fortnite item shop to directly support me in game. Let's get right into it. So straight off the bat, let's fill in the didn't play column down here. So I actually started playing during chapter one, season five. So we're gonna fill in, we're gonna fill in chapter one, season one, season two season three and season four right here these are the season i didn't participate in okay let's go in order so we got chapter one season five now this was the first season i started playing so this was pretty special for me but overall like if i'm thinking about how the season would be right it was a very spraying meta there was a couple really good pois though we had lazy links if anyone remembers we had paradise palms we had the desert area we had rifts added. We also had what, what else did we have? It was a very SMG based meta, so it was very good for beginners. So I feel like if this was a season now, I'm well, I'm gonna put it in a B tier. Like it was a good season. It was an okay season. I feel like the majority of people really enjoyed it, but I don't think it was up there with the best. Chapter one, season six. Right, this right here was. A decent season. It was okay. Like I wouldn't put it anywhere near the top of Fortnite's game. Put it in a C tier. This was the this was the season we had the cube when it fell into Loot Lake and everything went really bouncy and there was a massive up bit in the Loot Lake area and you could like fly around in it. It was okay, I guess. This was part was cube monsters. Lots of people didn't really like them. It was a decent season. Chapter 1, Season 7. Now, I'm going to put this straight up in the S tier. I really like this season. This season was probably my favourite. One of my favourites. We had the addition of all the ice parts of the map. We had the addition of Polar Peaks, Happy Hamlet, Frosty Flights, and... And we also had the addition of Greasy Grove being frozen over, so we had the full-on ice part. Now, I have a lot of good memories of Polar Peaks. Polar Peaks was one of my favourite POIs. It was so cool, the massive castle. And it was also the season they added the Infinity Sword. The Infinity Blade. It was insane, this thing. We logged in on a new season. We had this thing that you pulled from the ground that took 10 whole seconds. And when you got it, you were indestructible. Now, lots of people didn't really like it because they thought it was really, really overpowered. And I wasn't really into competitive then. So I was like, man, this is so fun. And that was one of the main reasons why I really enjoyed Chapter 1, Season 7. All of these map changes, they came together. It was great. Right, Chapter 1, Season 8. Now, this wasn't anything special, and for that reason, I'm going to put it into the C tier. Like, we had we had the addition of the whole jungle biome. It was it was okay, I guess. Like, it was a decent, it was a decent change. We had, like, uh, all of these different jungle POI type things, and not bad. I feel like it could have had a lot more. We had the treasure chests, which were quite decent. It was... It was it was good. It was good. I feel like if if it had been after a, a quieter season, it would have been placing higher. But since it was after chapter chapter one season seven right here, I feel like it it was a little bit more disappointing. So therefore, I'm putting it into the C tier. Like C, C's like average here. C's like average. We're talking like an average season. B is like kind of B is decent, and then A is very good season. S is a really good season, and S plus well, that's a god tier, isn't it? God season. I don't even want to say this. Chapter one, season nine. Let's put that straight into the F tier. Man, this season was so disappointing. Like I, I logged on and 
I was honestly so disappointed. They they took on this. They took out the pump. They took out the attack, didn't they? At the start, I swear it was the only shotgun was a combat shotgun when we first logged in, and I remember just getting a combat shotgun and being like, "This is terrible." And then they buffed it, and it was the most OP thing ever. And they added all these. They changed tilted completely. They changed it to neo tilted, and it was really bad. I hated neo tilted. Mega Mall, I did not like Mega Mall either. Mega Mall was just a really annoying location to fight at. It was just loads of spaces you couldn't build on. So, I really hated it. And follow up by collectively probably the most voted on the worst season Fortnite's ever had. Chapter 1, Season 10. Those were the bad days. This was the season that even I stopped playing Fortnite. I stopped playing Fortnite from like a week into the season to like the end of the season when the black hole came around back black hole event it was awful like we had we, we had mechs we had the map POIs changing making them really 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 weird over the coming weeks we had the cube monsters that just came back every single day it was ridiculous loads of loads of POIs just got completely destroyed it was terrible I'm telling you like it was the worst season in Fortnite ever. They include then they included the mechs so they could make it easier for worse players to get eliminations on the good players. But if anything, the the bad players didn't like using them anyway, so it just made everyone annoyed. And it was the point where even hashtag nerf the mechs was trending on Twitter. Yeah, that's how bad it was. All right, let's move on from this dire time. Chapter 2, Season 1. That is a C tier season, and I'll tell you why. So, after it stopped, right, it was it was nice. It was nice to have, like, a normal season again. After the Black Hole event, after the whole shenanigans of Season 10, it was nice to have a little break. A little break, have a nice little regular game of Fortnite with the loophole, and all the guns had new new wraps and stuff. New, new whole... Reskins. The guns had new reskins, and that made it quite interesting. However, this season, right, as as nice as it was to have a little break, it lasted like six months, a solid six month season. It was actually a little bit depressing. Like the loophole hardly ever changed. It was squad FNCS as well in competitive Fortnite, and although I wasn't really into competitive like it was over like a month or two and then we had another it kept it in delayed like not saying it's Fortnite's fault we had all like covid stuff but like it was getting delayed 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 over and over again until the season was like six months long and that made it slightly boring chapter two season two i'm thinking here i'm having a think i'm having a think and we're putting this straight into the s tier the s this was an s tier of the season this was a golden time during Fortnite, I'm telling you, right? Not really, despite it being out for 12 seasons, not many people were at a level where they were really good at the game. Like, really good. Most people, including me, were really bad. And it was fun, because we had we had the additions of the yacht, we had the rig, we had the agency, we had the shark. We had the grotto, all with mythic items. Mythic items, mythic NPCs. We had people fight. You had to fight TNT, you, know? you had to fight Brutus, you had to find them. You needed to grab the keycard. It had a whole spy theme to it, and it was so cool. I loved it so much. True enough, this season lasted a little bit too long. It was like a maybe a four month season because of COVID again. But man, they were golden times. I got to level 264 or something ridiculous like that, even though I wasn't really that good at the game, and it was so much fun. I'd land at the yacht, I'd find Deadpool, I'd I'd get his key card, I'd kill him, I'd get his, I'd get his dual wielding pistols. They were terrible, but we don't talk about that. And then I'd go to the vault, I'd get the key card, I'd get all the loot, it was exciting. You'd have strategy at the spawn fights, you'd have to like know when the vault key was and even camping the vault was a strategy. It was such a golden time in Fortnite, but let's move on from that. Chapter 2, Season 3. Where do I put it though? I'm putting it in the A tier. I really like this season. After the map not changing for like a solid 
decent amount of time, a solid decent amount of time. So we had a six month season, then we had a four month season, a ten month of pretty much not that much map changes, a couple of outskirts POIs. Right, this was a fun season. We had the rig added, we had the Fortilla, well the rig like changed, we had the Fortilla added. We had the entire map just flooded, so at the start of the season it was fun, it was really fun, I can't lie. All the map changes made it really exciting and I was just happy to play the game. This was actually the season I started getting a lot better at the game. I started trying really hard, I made it to Champions League through a lot of camping. And it was just, it just felt new and fresh. And obviously the map changes every week, it flooding down, the water coming down. We got new POIs, like we got Coral change, we got the, well, the Atlantis POI as people called it. And we got like the Aquaman skin, the secret skin. It was, it was fun, it was fun, I'll give them that. Chapter 2, Season 4. Beep. Right, let me explain. Where do I start? Obviously, lots of people will just say that Fortnite just wanted money, and this was a season of collabs, but Marvel's cool. There's loads of superheroes that were really cool to have added into the game. We had, we had Storm, Groot, Iron Man, Jennifer Walters, She-Hulk, basically, and a load of others. It was so fun. And we had the Quinjets that come down at the start of the game. We had the... We had the what do you call them? The the robots, the Quinn robots that came out and started fighting you. We have the Stark Rifle, a Stark Rifle. Now that is a gun that was beautiful. I love the Stark Rifle so much. It just had that precise precision about it when you fired it. That it just made it so nice to fire. When you hit shots, it's so satisfying. But at the same time, if you got into a box, you could just hit fire it and it just went so much faster. It was like... And you just, it just so much damage, it was ridiculous, and it was so fun. At the start of the season, I was like, this is a good season. At the start of the season, the start of Chapter 2 Season 4, it felt like a good A tier season. It was like, man, this is a really good season, I like it. We have, we, we have purple pumps and gold pumps that were in the Stark chests, and that in the, around the Quinjets, and they were really fun to use, they were like, decent, it felt like lots of people had a good shotgun, and it was not that hard to get good loot, but then, probably one of my favourite updates of all time happened, and that, ladies and gentlemen, was Stark Industries, mm-hmm, it just appeared like a massive circle in the map, it was like, at the storyline, Tony Stark was making like, some, some thing to, making some device that would bring Sark Industries to the map and it was massive, like the mountain was so cool to get up, you had like zip lines going up it obviously some people didn't like it because you fell off but they don't know what's good for them Sark Industries was probably my favourite location of all time, it was so fun to land at, like it was so fun like you'd land there and it was, there was like a couple of big chests that everyone went for and it was so fun because everyone just went for them chests. And if you got that chest, you'd get like 12 kills off spawn. The location was just really well planned out. You had the little robots guarding it. You had Iron Man with his mythics. That's another thing about this season. You had all of the different mythics, the unique mythics. You had Doom's fireball that you threw over your head. You had Silver Surfer's glider. You had Iron Man's uni beam. Like they were also an Iron Man's reporter gauntlet. You had so many unique mythic items that just made it so fun to play the game. Chapter two, season five. All right. I'm gonna put this in the A tier. I quite like the season. Uh, Stark Industries was removed. Pleasant Park was returned to normal, I believe. Oh yes, we had the salty towers added. We had, which was pretty cool. Like it was pretty cool. I have to admit, we had the Colossal Coliseum added with some NPCs. You had lots more NPCs added in this season, and at the same time, you had the sand pulling mechanic, which was a completely new way to travel, which is really good for camping arena points. What more can I say? This season it had a decent competitive meta. The the Colossal Coliseum was interesting because you couldn't break it. You couldn't break the outside walls, which I didn't like as much, but it was still an interesting POI. Now, this season right here is probably one of the most controversial in Fortnite history. Chapter 2, Season 6. 
Firstly, what do I think about it? I think it's a B tier season. Hear me out. This was the season they added all of the makeshift and primal weapons. It was the primal season. Lots of people really hated this because it was like, man, it's not Fortnite anymore. What are these primal weapons? There's no first shot accuracy on the primal AR. The primal shotgun's really, really OP. And to be fair, it was. For a while at the start of the season, you just have to jump in someone's box and just go, douche, 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 and they were gone. They were gone. It was crazy. Anyway, that I found that really fun. I'm going to be honest, I found the mechanics really refreshing in this season. Like at the start, at the start of that season, I absolutely hated them. I hated the fact that you had to farm the mechanical parts from the cars, you had to find them with floor loot and bones, but then they increased it and it, they increased the spawn rate of the bones of the mechanical parts and it was a lot better. The crafting mechanic was first introduced, I got a couple good videos on that out, which was really good. Chapter 2 Season 7, the last full Fortnite season we had, like, it, it was decent, it was decent, I'm going to say it was, apart from the map changes, the one obvious flaw, it was probably one of the, my favourite seasons we've had so far, if it had map changes, I'm going to probably say it would have been like S tier, but because of that, we're going to put it in like either A tier or B tier, and I think I'm going to go with A tier, because I just really like the loot pool, the loot pool just felt so nice, and it was a really decent competitive loot pool which we had had for a couple seasons in a row now it was nice to just once i'd got better at the game have a competitive loot pool so i could fight well with it the map change was an obvious one we had pretty much zero map changes the entire season but that's not really that much of an issue we had of course believer beach that completely changed that was the one bit of map changes I really, really liked because we had all of the really, really good decorations up and it had a really good vibe to it. My favourite part of the season was when it played music when you were landing there. It made me feel really happy when I was playing. Obviously, I can't rank this one properly, but if there's going to be a couple couple more map changes, if we're going to have a couple more map changes, a decent enough loot pool, I'm going to say that this could easily because of the really good competitive meta the decent slip streams the cool mechanic of the cubes it could easily be an s tier or if it gets even good and has a really good update it could even be an s plus tier but at the moment i'm still gonna say it's an a tier at the moment a couple more changes throughout the season s s or s plus tier you never know they're in a really good position at the moment this season i think they're doing a great job so guys that was my rankings for all of the different seasons. I really hope you enjoyed. If you have, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I really enjoyed this video. If you want to see more ranking videos like this, then make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know. I'll see you guys next video. I'm JKC Gaming, and I am out.